Okay, here's something that I've tried to keep alive many different times, but I've never been successful. Um, they're giant cave crickets. There's one. They're uh, pretty big. I think from, from the back of the leg to the front of the antenna, which are quite long. Um, they're over 8 inches long. Um, and they live in caves or like abandoned wells or old you know big tree str stumps and things like that uh, and they like it cold because wherever I found them it's it's been pretty cold like uh, less than 50 degrees Fahrenheit um, and you know like cold basements or whatever uh, but they're really hard to keep alive um, you can see some dead ones down there uh, I had probably 20 of them in here just a few days ago. I, I collected them probably about a week ago. And there's this little, there's a pan, like a lasagna pan underneath there full of water, and then with moss on top, and then there's some jello, an apple, and a peach there. Um, I, don't, I don't know if they're eating it. Uh, I've seen them eat the apple before. Not this apple, but you know, in the past when I've tried to keep them alive in captivity, um, I've seen them eat an apple, but uh, these ones don't appear to be doing very well. Um, there's only that one, and I think that one down there is alive, and I know that one is. Here, I'll poke it. Yeah, it's alive. And that one is. Those are the adults. All the, all the juveniles died. Um, I had probably four or five juveniles in here as well that died. Um, I don't know if it's not cold enough or perhaps it's that uh, they require certain foods. Like the the side of the cave in which I found them was covered in mold or some kind of fungus. I'm not sure if it was a mold or just the mycelium of some kind of you know mushroom. But uh, there was a lot of it, and it was all over the cave, and it, they appeared to be eating it because there was just tons of them. There, there was hundreds in this little cave. And uh, so apparently the, the fungi supported them. Um, but I can't. So I think this is, I'm going to give up. I think this is the last time I'm going to try to actually keep them alive. Um, unless these actually, you know, unless these three or four of them that are still alive survive another week or so. Um, I'm, I'm just going to give up on these and, you know, put them in the bin of, you know, never, or way too hard to ever try to culture because I've done everything that is, like, reasonable to try to keep them alive and if I were to do anything else that would, you know, require a lot of money or resources or time that I'm not willing to spend on these, so. Anyway. There they are, Tropodicia xanthostoma, giant cave crickets. They're certainly the largest that we have in the Pacific Northwest, the largest orthopteran or cricket. Um, but, you know, there's a lot bigger ones than other places in the world, but they're by far the largest we have around here. They just kind of sit there if you don't disturb them. And waving their antenna around, but then as soon as they detect something weird, they really freak out. They can jump probably a good three feet. They want to. This one's obviously a female. You can see her oval paws are sticking out there. Oops. No, she's out. I have to grab her. Here we go. jump to the other wall. 